Let's see what happens in a fiftieth of a second when a spring action rifle is fired. Let's slow it down and see what happens. The gun vise slides back, the gun pops forward, and the gun vise moves up and down. Again, the gun vise slides back, the gun pops forward, and the vise moves up and down. Slower yet. Keep your eye on the gun vise and the tape on the stock. As the compressed air pushes the pellet forward, the recoil pushes the gun vise back for a hundredth of a second. Forward recoil occurs a hundredth of a second later when the spring reaches the end of its travel, causing the gun to pop forward and the gun vise to move up and down, pivoting at the balance point of the gun. So in summary, there are three actions. First there is a recoil back, and then the recoil forward, and then the up and down motion of the aftershock. Now then, let's break it down and take a look at what actually happens with the two recoils and the aftershock one step at a time. The solenoid pulls the trigger and the gun and the sliding vise recoil together straight back caused by the column of air pushing the pellet out of the barrel. This takes place in a hundredth of a second. In this example, let's say that the pellet is traveling 900 feet per second. That's the length of three football fields. One one hundredth of 900 is nine. So the pellet is on its way nine feet out of the gun in one one hundredth of a second. If the pellet was traveling 600 feet per second, it would be 6 feet out of the gun, 500 feet, 5 feet, and so on. The spring comes to the end of its travel, causing the forward recoil to happen in the second one hundredth of a second. The gun pops forward in a straight line, while the gun vise is still moving back. The front recoil begins before the rear recoil is finished. This is similar to the magician's trick of pulling the tablecloth out from underneath the dishes. The pellet is now 18 feet from the gun. Two one hundredths of 900 equals 18. The spring hits the end of its travel with such force that the metal support that the gun vise is clamped to begins to vibrate so that the gun vise dips forward and down away from the gun the same way that the nose of a car goes down when slamming on the brakes. Once the car comes to a complete stop, the nose of the car comes up to its level position again. And in like manner, the gun vise comes back up to the gun. Note that the barrel has stayed in a straight line so far. As the pellet continues to speed away from the gun, the aftershock vibration begins and the gun vice support, gun vice, and the gun vibrate up and down as a unit a total of five times before coming to a rest. Once the vibration ceases ten one hundredths of a second after the trigger is pulled, the pellet is now ninety feet from the gun. Ten one hundredths of nine hundred or one tenth is ninety. And Ninety one hundredths or nine tenths of a second later, the pellet is nine hundred feet from the gun, or nine hundred feet away one second after pulling the trigger. I hope that this world famous suspense filled Dirty Harry thriller has given you a better understanding of what will happen when you pull the trigger on the spring action gun that you're going to buy from Dirty Harry. I know what you were thinking, but the bottom line is that the pellet is long gone before any of the recoils and vibrations even begin to think about happening. So do yourself a favor, stop by my website, topairgun.com, and make my day.